Hi, so we're back again for another gospel lesson. And this week we are talking about why stewardship over our time. And also, for, uh, for that matter, finances. Um, so we're just going to be basically covering our stewardship in this life. Um, last week we spoke about the importance of the right to choose or free agency. And this week we are going to cover how that correlates with wise stewardship over our time and finances and families. Um, I'd like to start us off by switching, turning to Doctrine and Covenants 88, 124, where it states, Cease to be idle, cease to be unclean, cease to find fault one with another, cease to sleep longer than is needful, retire to thy bed early, that ye may not be weary, arise early, that your bodies and your minds may be invigorated. The importance of that verse is astronomical, because the Lord doesn't give us commandments just to see us jump through hoops, just to get a kick out of it. The Lord wants us to succeed in this life because we are his children. He, he gives no commandments just for the sake of hearing his head rattle. Um, these aren't suggestions that we just read. These are commandments. Cease to be idle. Cease to sleep longer than is needful. We have a lot of problems going on in society today because we have forgotten as, as a people, as a human race, with all of the comforts around us today and how accessible things are today, that we need purpose. We as human beings, as, as mortal creatures, we need to have a purpose. A lot of people don't have a purpose nowadays, and that is what's leading to so much crime, so much drug use, uh, suicide rates being up. Um, before our time, people had a purpose. They had to rise early so they could accomplish the things that needed to be done in the, the allotted amount of time they had in a day. Otherwise, they couldn't. You know, once night came, there was no more that could be done. There is a, a verse in John 9. It's John 9, 4 to 5. And it states, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of the world. Notice that John says, I must work the works of him that sent me while it is day. The night cometh when no man can work. That statement is powerful. When we look at the scope of time management in a gospel context, we have a job to do as disciples, as, um, as priesthood holders and wives and daughters of priesthood holders and wives and daughters um, of, you know, as daughters and sons and daughters of Heavenly Father, as I were. Um, that, that necessity is that we do the Lord's work while we can. Being idle is, is wasting the time that the Lord has given us. We have only so much time allotted to us in this lifetime, which is why we have to make the conscious choice whether we are going to waste time, spend time, 
or invest time. We must learn that investing time is the way to be good stewards of the time given to us. Time is a gift given to us by Heavenly Father. It's not meant to be squandered. It's not meant to be spent without purpose. To invest is to make a wise choice. If you look at it in a financial context, you're, when you invest, you put your money into something that's worthwhile, that will in turn bring you a greater yield. When you plant your crops, if, if you farm, you plant your crops, you, you spend X amount of money on seeds and fertilizer and farm equipment. These are investments. You're not just spending your money to spend it. You're spending your money on something that will go into the ground and it will bring a yield. You will end up doubling the money, tripling the money that you spent on the product, on the seed, on the things it took to cultivate that crop that investment will be over it'll be turned into a greater yield well we need to look at our time in the same manner are we going to spend our time or are we going to invest that time to invest that time we would be putting our time into something worthwhile that will bring us either greater joy greater financial increase um greater overall uh, purpose. This is why time management or being a good steward of our time is so important. Because once we leave this mortal existence, we will have to show for what we did here. If we squandered away our time when we were here, we will have nothing to show Heavenly Father and the Lord Jesus Christ when our time comes. On the other hand, if we learn to wisely invest our time and to be good stewards over that time, we will learn. We will bring new knowledge with us into the afterlife. Which which brings me to another verse, Doctrine and Covenants 88, 118, where it states, <clears throat> And as all have not faith, Seek ye diligently, and teach one another words of wisdom. Yea, seek out the best books. Words of wisdom. Seek learning, even by study and also by faith. How, how powerful that is. When we learn something in this life, we bring that knowledge with us into the afterlife. We haven't just learned it here, and it's going to get us through this mortal existence, and then we'll be good. No, whatever you learn here on earth, that's coming with you. When you receive a glorified body in the hereafter, your memories, your knowledge that you gained in this mortal existence comes with you, because that is our purpose on earth. Our purpose on earth is to gain wisdom, to learn as much as is possible here on earth. So we can take that knowledge with us into the afterlife so that we may have the knowledge that Heavenly Father has. It's why we were sent here. It's why we asked Heavenly Father to, to put us here, was so that we could gain knowledge and learn and be more like him. Preaching the gospel is perhaps the greatest single thing we can invest our time in in this world because that is going to yield the greatest crop for, for us the lord said if we can bring even one soul unto him in this lifetime we will be blessed preaching the gospel we are priesthood holders and 
wives and daughters of priesthood holders. And that means we have a divine responsibility, and that's to bring this hope and this gospel to other people, people who need this gospel. Alma 34, verse... Alma 34, verses 32 to 34 states, For behold, this life is the time for men to prepare to meet God. Yea, behold, the day of this life is the day for men to perform their labors. And now, as I said unto you before, as ye have had so many witnesses, therefore I beseech you that ye do not procrastinate the day of your repentance until the end. For after this day of life, which is given us to prepare for eternity, behold, if we do not improve our time while in this life, then cometh the night, of darkness, wherein there can be no labor performed, ye cannot say, when ye are brought to that awful crisis, that I will repent, that I will return to my God. Nay, ye cannot say this, for that same spirit which doth possess your bodies at this time, that ye go out of this life, that same spirit will have the power to possess your body in the eternal world. So what is being said here is we, as physical beings, are, our physical bodies are only half of this. The spirit, the driving force, is the one that stores this knowledge. And we will bring the knowledge that we gain here on earth with us. Everything we do in this life counts in the world to come after this. To be wise stewards of our time, we must focus on the things that are most important. These include things like family time, scripture study, time spent preaching the gospel, time spent teaching the gospel, time spent in church. These are things that matter. These are things that progress us, both temporally and spiritually. Before I end this video, I would like to read from the book of Abraham. Um, it would be Abraham 3... 25 that says and we will prove them herewith to see if they will do all things whatsoever the Lord their God shall command them the Lord is saying here we are in a time of probation we're in a state of probation this is our time to learn this is our time to grow we are only in the infancies of our existence we must spend our time here in this mortal existence wisely. The wiser we are with our time, the more joy we will have in this life, and the more joy we will have in the hereafter. So spend that time, spend your time in service to your fellow man. Spend that time in preaching the gospel. Spend that time in prayer to your Father in heaven. Our time is limited. And when it's gone, it's gone. We will never relive this existence again. So learn what you can with the time that you have. Love your wives. Love your children. Prove to them that you love them. With spending that, that time with them, being a good steward of your household, being a good priesthood holder for your families. Guide them, direct them. Receive revelation on their behalf and be clean so that you may receive that revelation through the Holy Spirit. Make sure your homes are in order, that your, your lives are secured both financially and spiritually. 
that the Holy Spirit may dwell in your home, that you may have the peace and the joy that the Lord intends for you to have in this lifetime. Because the day or the night comes where no man may labor. Don't wait until the night. Do not wait until the night falls to say, Lord, I believe. Prove that here, now, in this life, through your actions, through your wise time management. You have an agency. You have free agency in this lifetime. Use it. Choose the right. Study your scriptures. The Holy Scriptures are one of our greatest advantages, one of our greatest guides in this world. Don't throw it away. Don't don't think that you can you'll be fine if you don't read your scriptures for a day. You're missing something that day if you do not read those scriptures. You're missing something the Lord wants you to know. Read your scriptures daily. Pray fervently every day. Serve your fellow man. Listen to the words of modern prophets and old prophets. Seek the Lord's will. Manage your time wisely and you will have joy in this life. Procrastinate, wait, and waste that time. Your joy will be diminished here as well as in the life to come after this life. That's my lesson for this week. I will prepare another topic. We will be covering another topic next week. Um, I believe next week's topic is going to be on, let's see here. We'll look this up momentarily here. We should be covering literacy next week so there's that to look forward to um that's the that's all i had for this week and uh i guess i'll see you all next week god bless you